as you can see in this S&P 500, so here's a recap. So last week, I talked about a potential market top. So the reason that I uh, mentioned the potential market top was because firstly, so that's the bar from last Sunday. And we do see that there's an increase of the volume and together with the shortening of the upward trust. In fact, it's just uh, have a drop here uh, on the last bar. So that actually suggests there is presence of the supply. So at that time, last week, last Sunday, I talked about that uh, we definitely need to see a change of character bar, uh, which is a big bearish bar in order to get a confirmation uh, for the bearish case. So what are we getting? So first of all, on Monday, there is no downward follow through. Instead, it just broke out and just hit the all time high level. So this is the previous all time high at about 45.50 and subsequently, these two bars are interesting so let me highlight this so here is the bar here the, this bar and also this so these two bars actually contains increasing of the volume together with the downward results so at that point because what we were seeing firstly is that here is a rejection tail and here is actually a bearish bar despite that the spread isn't that great but still this is the time that we see that there is a synchronization between the results which is the bearish type of the results together with increasing of the volume despite not as uh, extensive as the previous supply so that is a kind of a start of a, a hint maybe we can get a, a follow through to the downside so right after that, let me zoom in. So you can see there's no follow through. And in fact, that two bearish price action bars, this two bar here, just kind of acted like an up trust, but did not have a, a follow through. So at that point, I was actually hoping for maybe a big bearish bar, then hopefully we can see a travel down to the supporting area but uh, that's not happened and in fact what we have here is another bullish bar just to uh, come in above and comes with a quite consistent volume and last friday was just a uh, continue to break out higher so overall um the context of the full picture is that simply we don't get enough supply to push a, a index down so the supply is not excessive enough to have a, a bearish price action and also the bearish follow through. So that's why we see the continuation to the upside. So again, um, if we see just focus on this previous downswing, the reaction, we can see that there's a ton of the supply, a ton of the volume. So that suggests there is a lot of the accumulation on the way down subsequently followed by a test with the decreasing of the volume, decreasing of the supply. So that's why we did not really see a lot of the volume when the upswing started. So it's kind of like a ease of movement. So previously we have those kind of the accumulation done while the price is uh, on, on a downtrend or just have a, some kind of the bargain. So when there is a, a reaction, then we see there is accumulation on the way down and buying uh, at a discount. So this is the ease of movement. And subsequently, this portion is just that there is no excessive supply. So the up move still continue uh, until further uh, evidence of uh, emergence of the increasing of the supply. Maybe what we can expect is something like this or even this or here, but still, we don't really have that kind of the supply yet. And I had done, uh, I've done a, a quick calculation that's uh, based on the point and figure uh, H4 time frame. Uh, the upside potential could be somewhere around 4740. So definitely we still have a few in the tank that's based on the accumulation structure from this uh, segment. So in terms of the upside, I think we still have 
uh, some more upside ahead based on uh, the previous accumulation structure as shown up here. Okay, so this is uh, S&P 500. I think um, in terms of the broad market is still uh, generally bullish. Uh, we don't really have a lot of the supply, despite that um, the, the earnings started. We have uh, Apple and Amazon have kind of disappointed the investors, but it did not really drag down uh, the sectors like the NASDAQ. In fact, NASDAQ also breaking uh, all-time high here. And here's the Dow Jones uh, is, I think, also the all-time high. So we have three indices uh, hitting all-time high. So still, we have the Russell 2000 as the legged. So let's see when can Russell uh, catch up uh, for the rest of the indices. Okay, so that's um, the broad market indices.